Joe Workman here. And today I am really excited to talk to you about our new PayPal stacks. Now, if you're looking at this, you probably have wanted to implement some sort of payment system or donation buttons or something on your website, some sort of e-commerce solution. And maybe you've been intimidated by a lot of shopping carts and online services that maybe could be complicated to integrate into your websites. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a live stream on how to integrate PayPal buttons into our websites. And that was really awesome, right? Um, it showed the power of an easiness of PayPal buttons, but it was a little complicated because we had to go to PayPal, create the buttons, get the code snippet, and then put that code snippet on our site. And if we wanted to tweak it, the styles and stuff, that took a, a little bit more work. So I thought I would simplify the entire process and create a nice PayPal stack suite for us to easily create PayPal buttons. We don't need to visit PayPal. The stack does all the work for you. So let's jump in and see how awesome these stacks are. So it really couldn't be easier to implement a PayPal button on our site. Here I've added a PayPal stack to the page and you'll notice we have a button wrapper and this allows us to add whatever button we want into the stack. So since I'm using my foundation six theme here, I just added a quick foundation six button, but you can use any button stack that you want in any theme um, and the PayPal stacks will work perfectly. One of the benefits of these PayPal stacks actually is that it actually applies zero styles and it really uses your designs. So it uses the designs from your theme and other stacks that you use so that all it does is provide you the PayPal functionality. So let's dive into the main PayPal stack now and see what we can do. So you see here from the type, we can either have this be a donate button, a buy now button. We can add and use PayPal shopping cart. We can actually make a subscription and if you really wanted to use a button that you made on paypal.com, you can actually use that pre-made PayPal button as well, just by supplying the ID. Okay. But right now we're going to do a buy now button. Um, we can either open in the current window or open uh, the PayPal checkout in a new tab. Um, for fun, let's just go ahead and uh, open in a new tab. Um, in our PayPal ID, this is going to be your either your merchant ID or your PayPal email address. So you can use either or. Um, I personally uh, prefer using my PayPal merchant ID so that, um, you know, my PayPal email address isn't just out there in the world. Um, and then the URLs here, this is going to be the return URL. So this is the URL that the user will be returned back to after a successful checkout. So maybe this will be a thank you page. And if they cancel their uh, purchase, um, this maybe take them back to some sort of canceling page or maybe your main shopping page. Okay. Um, and then the logo URL, this is going to be the URL of your logo so that it can insert that on the PayPal checkout page. This allows you to, you know, insert your brand a little bit into that PayPal checkout. Next up, we're going to type in our item name. So this is going to be the name of your product. Um, and then a SKU. If you have a SKU, this is an optional field. This is going to be your product ID. Just this is purely just for your own use um, in the back end um, so that you can have a SKU. And then this is the amount. So if we put in uh, the amount of our product, um, we can easily do that. So I see here, now I've previewed this, I have my buy now button. And if I click on buy now, it immediately opened up a new tab and it took me to the PayPal and, and, or, with a $25 purchase, right? This couldn't be easier. We did that in less than a minute. Pretty impressive. Now there's some optional stacks that we can use as well, such as the shipping stack that allows us to define our shipping costs. And this allows us to define what is the shipping cost for the first item. And then if you want to have subsequent shipping costs for each additional item, you can do that as well. So maybe the first item is $10 and each sub subsequent item is $5, or it could be free and you could just leave that blank. We also have some special things for PayPal subscriptions. So if you're using a subscription form, this allows you to, to define the rules for your subscription. So is there a trial period? Is the trial period free? Um, is it a paid trial, right? So maybe it's uh, $10 for the first week and then $50 a month after that, right? This is exactly what you can do with these PayPal subscription settings here. And then lastly, we have the ability to add some text options and a select box option, okay? Let's look at a, a, a kind of a completed shopping form so we can kind of see how these are used. So here's a, here's a sample of a fictitious, uh, you know, Weaver Space hoodie that we could buy. And if you notice here, we can have a color option. So we can have a, a you know, an option if we wanted a white hoodie. Um, and then maybe we have sizes. Now in this option, we actually, for depending on the size, we actually have a different price. 
So you can actually have these select options drive the price of your product as well. This way, um, you know, you can vary your price based on the options. And then here's the sample of that text field where maybe, I don't know, this is putting in the website domain. Maybe you want to put your website name on the sleeve or something. I don't know, right? But this allows the customer to type in options as well as have predetermined options from a select box. Now, as you see, implementing these are really simple. We, um, we have the select option here where I've just added options for blue, green, white, and purple. Now, in the second select option here uh, for the size, I'm, I'm actually defining custom prices. So um, I have the define prices options set inside the select box. And then inside each option here, I'm actually defining the price inside each option. Um, this will tell the PayPal uh, forms that you know each option is this specific price. And then obviously the text option here um, is just a normal text box that we have a bunch of options that we can uh, customize. As you see, those stacks are really, really easy to use. I implemented that buy now button in under a minute, right? And it's very flexible, allows us to do a lot of things, subscriptions and all that stuff. A lot of stuff that we really would love to do, but we feel is too complicated. And this stack makes it so easy. So I hope you enjoy this stack. I hope to see you over on the Weaver Space community and go out there and make your websites great.